voiceover. Welcome to our channel, How To. This is your one-stop destination for understanding the wonders of life and the world around us. We break down complex processes into easy to understand steps, making the fascinating world of nature, biology, and science accessible to all. If you're curious, if you're inquisitive, or if you simply love learning new things, you're in the right place. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and engage with our content. Every like, share, and comment helps us bring more educational content to your screens. Today, we're diving into the miraculous process of childbirth. Strap in as we embark on this incredible journey. Let's get started. What could be more miraculous than the creation of a new life? The journey from conception to birth is a complex, fascinating, and truly miraculous process. Today, we delve into the intricacies of childbirth, a life-changing event that is as old as life itself. At the start of this journey is conception. In the depths of a woman's body, a single sperm cell from a man merges with a woman's egg cell in an event known as fertilization. This fusion results in a single cell, a zygote, which contains a unique combination of genetic material from both parents. This zygote then starts a journey down the fallopian tube, dividing and growing into a ball of cells. Once this little bundle of cells reaches the uterus, it embeds itself into the uterine lining, marking the beginning of pregnancy. This is called implantation. The cells continue to divide and differentiate, forming the embryo and eventually the fetus. Over time, the fetus develops all the organs and body parts that a human needs to survive in the outside world. Meanwhile, the mother's body undergoes significant changes to accommodate and nourish the growing baby. Hormones surge, the uterus expands, and an organ called the placenta forms to provide oxygen and nutrients to the fetus. As the pregnancy progresses into the third trimester, the baby prepares for birth by moving into a head-down position. This is known as lightening or dropping. The baby's head presses down on the cervix, which is the passage between the uterus and the vagina. Then comes the first stage of labor, which is the longest and involves three phases. Early labor is when contractions start and the cervix begins to dilate. Active labor sees the cervix dilating more quickly and the contractions become stronger and more regular. The transition phase is the last and most intense where the cervix dilates fully to 10 centimeters. The second stage of labor involves pushing and birth. The mother uses her natural instincts and the guidance of her healthcare provider to push the baby down the birth canal. With each contraction, the baby moves closer to making its debut into the world. The culmination of this stage is the birth of the baby. The third and final stage of labor involves the delivery of the placenta, which is no longer needed now that the baby is born. This stage is much quicker and less intense than the previous two. In summary, childbirth is a complex and miraculous process that involves numerous steps and stages. It begins with conception and ends with the birth of a new life. It is a testament to the power and resilience of the human body and a beautiful beginning of a new journey. The importance of childbirth extends beyond the individual as it ensures the continuation of our species. It is a shared experience that unites us all, a testament to our common humanity. So the next time you marvel at the miracle of a newborn baby, remember the incredible journey that brought them into the world. From a single cell to a fully formed human being, the process of childbirth is truly a wonder to behold.